Okay, we've got uh, uh, some pH self glue powder here. Uh, we can just use directly from uh, on the palette. Yeah. Those ones and just use that. Oh, I see. And that's the size that it comes in there. Yeah, it's a that's five gram. Yes. So um, let me show you. So I use some uh, some water, and you you can grind it with a finger. Is it actually from the peach tree? Yeah, it's just from the bark of the tree trunk. Um, it uh, kind of a, it's a natural phenomenon. You know, it comes out uh, in the spring time or after rain something. Uh -huh. I used to get them directly from the tree uh, when I had the peach tree in my yard in China. Um, it, it looked like jelly, but they just harvest it and make a you know, extraction or something into the palate. Yes. So it's uh, it's not from the fruit, it's from the tree. We don't cure the tree. It's a uh, um, it's just a natural thing you, you can see on the but, trunk. But a gum, the, yeah. A gum, a gum, yeah, tree gum kind of they just come out from the bark. So you can Well I mean a, a rubber tree works the same way, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we can use a little bit uh, peach sap. Let me get this here. Uh -huh. So I can I can blend the ink with the the glue. So it's more uh, it's less absor uh, diluted, but no uh, less smeared. Okay. That you keep the the value when you dilute it, that's the key, the idea. Mm. So I can use a little dark. So let, let's see, if I, if I dot this eye without... It'll uh, get run into a big yeah, eye. Yeah, it won't run in, but if I dot it with the glue, it will stay. Oh, you said it's lovely. Yeah. So oh, just very cute. It, yeah, instead of just uh, make it bigger, I just <laughs> enhanced it. Like yes. That. So uh, if I do another painting with the, you can see it smear, uh, especially on the unsized paper. On this paper, it's not smeared that much, so it no, does not show. Is this um, so, classified so, as semi-sized? Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. exactly. It's yeah. a semi-sized. Um, this is a Japanese rice paper. Yeah. And uh, later on, when we try different paper, you will see how it. Works. But even you use this paper, I can uh, show you. Maybe on this practice paper. Let me just get another one. So uh, I'll show you the pitch set glue uh, with this. Uh, so I got this glue in the in the ink now, right? And uh, you just use ink in the water. Which you normally uh, use pure water, right? yes. I use some some glue in it. So actually, it, it, it tends to keep the color separate more gradation or something. You know, it's, it's good to, to have that. And don't make it even, so you you can have some dark, some light. No. With the glue, it kind of keep the different elements more uh, present. Let me show you here. Oh, that's what I've got to learn how to do that properly instead of these little yeah, hooks I've got on the end. <laughs> okay, now uh, let's just continue this. See, this some part it has more glue, it's, it's a, even like a wider. Um, and uh, I'll just do it fast. Mmm.
this paper is not as big, so it may not show so much difference, but uh, still you can feel the, you know, the body of the stroke is different, it's heavier, right? Um, let me just draw this mouse. Now I use uh, glue with dark ink, so it's not going to bleed as much as I did before. So I just dot on that. Mm. It should stay. Dot it. And you can make a calico fish just add some more. Mm. Okay. And, uh, you can do a pure f uh, white fish, I'm sure you, I mean uh, red fish, yeah. and uh, you can use some cold water to add some body and, uh, here, a different direction, see if I can do that. Make it be turning. Um, yeah, turn, turn up. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we we'll just do a big belly. And uh, the mouth. Yeah. Mm, that looks beautiful. With those spins, you're starting off finer, uh, finer, and then going thicker. Aren't you? Yeah. See, my light is really light, and my dark it could be dark, so you create uh, depths. Whoa! <laughs> it bleeds. Well, that can be alright. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Some eyebrows. Yeah. Just do a little more. See, this is a, the color with the with the glue. It's not the paint. Maybe this direction is better, see? I turn it around. <laughs> Alright. Which way is better? Anyway. That's a nice movement. Yes. <laughs> um, let's say if we use uh, pure ink, what we do? We do black model again. So I use the different uh, style, like the one we learned from the master of uh, goldfish. Who is the master of goldfish? Wu um, Zuoren. Wu. W. Zuo. W. U. Z. Z. Ren. It means people. J. Yin. Or. Oh, it's a J. R. R. Yin. The old, old spelling is J U N. J U N. J uh, Zuo Ren. Zuo Zuo Z O U and the Ren R E N. Oh, actually, I do this uh, again with red, just to to become 
system. See, this is a the ink has different tones. That's my three got three friends. <laughs> three friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just so just if you have all the dark and the light and uh, white, you uh, see the variations. So. so when you make any mistake, you know, don't repeat. Just do another one. Just do another one. Uh, in the opposite. Uh, I'm still still thinking. aiming so, to master this. Uh, let's say <laughs> when I when I did this too fast, I just do a thin one to correct it instead yeah. of repeat. You know, yes. Correct. Yeah. That's the, the way they use it. So we come, up, come along here, down, now then up and down again. That's the, yeah, that down, down right. not going up. Yeah, the tail, tail <coughs> goes with the direction of the movement. Yeah. If it goes forward, just indicate the, the direction of the movement. better. Mm -hmm. Like a shell. Yeah. I'll practice. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you, um, yeah, it needs to uh, practice. It certainly does. <laughs> okay, now. So let's uh, do it on um, size shrine. And this is your brush and I loaded for you. So we clean the brush first. Yes. And uh, we use some glue instead of the pure water and just uh, get some light ink right. in the brush. So the whole body is in. We need to use the whole body with light ink and a little darker ink. And you can do the uh, this drill, the three stroke uh, procedure. Let me do this uh, together with you. So I use the same. Now you come uh, along, then make uh, the fat, spread uh, it out, no, make the fat the, area. I, I would do the body first. I would the, do the body the, first. The, the continuation of uh, one stroke from body all the way to the tail. So let me show you the, the move. So you do it like this. Use the, the bottom of the brush to get the uh -huh. And then pull the brush with the tip to get the bridge, and then press it down. Uh, keep the side, keep one side of the the tip along one side, and then pull to get the. Right. So just make it easy. No, 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 um, no ace shaped wave. Just straight. Yeah. You're doing the move that we did, uh, and that's a good one. I mean, anyway, that, I, li I like that. So you did uh, with the straight. Let, let me show you uh, what you did was uh, good. So you did with uh, the brush straight. That's also okay with this middle brush. You know. and then yeah, you can. I've got to get that brush. Huh? You can reload, reload the brush, whole brush. Yeah. Okay. And can we see on this? Uh, no, not not dark. Are you going to do the tail still? Yes. No, not dark. Too, too much. Just keep the light because okay. it's uh, yeah, translucent. Yeah, that's all. Great. Right. Okay. Now. now, if you wait longer, this watermark between the stroke will become uh, broader, more obvious. So if you do fast, this two stroke will be more connect. But uh, to um, you know to to have this advantage, it, we. I should like the water mark between the stroke, right? So if you wait longer, it, you get the water. You get the water mark. Yep. You see, this is how I try to show you. So I added some water actually there, so you can see the two stroke will not combine. No. See that that's water, and uh, you can only do one of the stroke to make it. Uh, the three is the four. Okay. 
Yeah, that's good. And uh, what's next? You can use the, the red brush. The red brush. Yeah. Actually, you can finish uh, the things and if you feel oh, the yeah. You just do the, the tail thing, smaller, and now use the darker. The fans in front of this section, it's right before, uh, like behind the head, under the jaw. Okay, now the the forehead. Is that all right? Yeah. The dot should be like heavier uh, in end, so you can uh, press and then go back. Now this head will come around here. Yeah, it? it's uh, in the front of this. Yes. See, this is how, let me show you this big triangle shape. Like that. See, the top could be. It's going combined, over the top. The co kind of combine and uh, cover up a little uh, in, the top, in the front. So to keep the spines like smooth, straight. So it's like a big triangle in front of a small triangle. Looks a bit funny. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Let me. Little black mouth. Little. Um, yeah. Or gray mouth. Just do a little curve. You can do two lines if you want. Just or just one. Um, yeah. And uh, down to the eye. You can dry the brush or use a smaller brush. Yeah. With a little. Blue. Blue. And then dark. That will control the smear. So even on wet, this glue will help. On this side, you know, just a little bit. And on this side. Nope! <laughs> Big book. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to block it. Okay. Yeah, you see, I kind of uh, leave the. You can put it right before the. On, on sides of the wet, so it's kind of like a yeah. yeah let it bleed inside, but not outside. That's all I got. Actually, there's a uh, things on the other side you can do. This looks like a turtle. Mm -hmm. I, I'll try to help you and see what is that. We have a bit fatter stomach. Yeah. Think? No, it's a good. Okay, it's, you will try. Uh, Just one stroke from the master, and it's fixed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, thank you, Henry. Yeah, just uh, it's good. So let me take a picture. left it was the, the 
focus on the, the dark and I'll do the, the big uh, combined stroke again. Uh, let's think about the composition. You can hit something on the other side. The gum hit the this is yeah, coming down sure, here. Sure. But they could, uh, I think, better keep them in the same direction. That's, that's my. Oh, okay. Yeah, so well, he's almost going upwards, mm -hmm. so we have this fella coming up to me. Uh, you just make a story, whatever. I think it's appropriate. So this one I will go uh, like that. You can do it in two strokes, like in, in, a, in a top of you. That's what I'm trying to do. And then the tail. I haven't got enough ink on it. You just have to add water or something. This paper takes a lot of moisture, so you need to keep it uh, keep adding the water. Okay, now uh, we don't use color; we just use ink. So dark ink to the front, one stroke for the mouth, and the big eye. The, uh, let me show you the, the fins. Could they, they use the brush shape? Just press a little more. Uh -huh. Yeah, just uh, add uh, not that much. The, uh, just under the. Aha, uh -huh. just do that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. What do you call this big. Uh, gill. Gill. Gill, yeah. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying. How do you like this paper? It mm. has the watermark, you see, that keeps the, oh, yes, good. the strokes separate. That's the advantage of when you do the fish. I'd like another yeah. something longer happening on one of these. Oh, okay. You want to add another tail? Yeah, get it a bit longer. Okay. One somewhere. Okay. Looks a bit too stumpy and fat, the tail. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yes, that's actually, isn't it amazing? That little dark stroke has actually thinned it down a bit. Uh -huh. it, it made him a bit slimmer. Uh -huh. Just tighten, yeah. Yes. Just not, uh, it's very good. Just uh, don't do anything. <laughs> no, don't do anything. <laughs> uh, try to make a story on the other side if you want to complete your composition so you can have one. Uh, swimming the other way, but that's Come, more coming down here. Uh, leave space in between. So yeah. Leave, uh, yeah. Just leave like an O-shaped composition. You leave the center open. Okay. Uh, yeah, just do another <coughs> fish coming from the other direction. My brush might be over there. Like 
Still going to the peach sap blue or not? Uh, it's always uh, helpful if you do a little bit, uh, you know, just keep it uh, in water. So I will, I will draw a, a, a white fish with an outline. That's what I try to do. And I'll do it here. I do a little mouth and uh, just a little shade. Dotted lines, and now uh, just the uh, same kind of stroke for the tail. Still need some red just to be more interesting. Mm. It's like a white spotting with a red head. Try to make it a side view if it works. Mask is different. Here. to make the things uh, in one stroke so no uh, repeat yeah. that's very good I like that okay, that's good getting there <laughs> Now that's good. You can you've just done the outline there, and so it's sort of yeah, it's like white. white. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's possible. That we're supposed to have. Oh, this is a question, not a statement. Are we supposed to have uneven numbers of yeah, anything in yeah. Chinese? Um, I think like you wouldn't some have good, yeah, some two good. pine trees. You'd have three or one. Yeah, wouldn't three you? is always good. Yeah. We don't use the number four, that's a taboo. Uh, oh, that's in, in number four is a taboo. Yeah. Yes. So the uh, number five, number six is good. Nine fish is a perfect number. So we can do nine if you have space. Uh, three is good. Or six is also good. Six is good. Yeah. So we can just fill in the space. Let me, let me continue with the. Uh, Three more, maybe. So uh, we can do an overlapping part of this. See if I can oh. take advantage of the paper. So it's not, it should kind of avoid, uh, even if you do overlap, it, it keeps separate. You know. That's the 
interesting part of this paper. You see this, uh, this paper keeps them separate. Mm. Uh, light gray stars. This is this stripe I don't like but this so you have to make mm. it blue. You have that well I've got a stripe happening here too on the <laughs> Yeah, you have to make it blue. No, that's fine. Yeah. The six will make it good. Uh -huh. so more, um, so dance in the squares. Uh, you, can, you can also suggest uh, they like the a half you know, like outside the Oh frame. yes, yes. It's also possible. Well, you could have one sort of coming up this way, could yeah, you? Yeah, that's good. good. Change the yeah. direction. Yes. I go to the gym, uh, the area fitness. Oh, okay. okay uh, Everyone was in the pool this morning at yeah, the hotel. Yeah, in the hotel. Yeah. It's very nice out there. Three more to make it nine. That's a uh -huh. that would be a something to uh, rock. Uh, the maximum would do. Uh, okay, let me just do another one. Under it. Eight, one, two, three, four. 
two, four, seven. six, seven. And two more. Two more there, yes. For a pure red goldfish. When the brush is dry, it goes slow. Uh-huh. I'm just watching you do that, those mm -hmm. tails. With that brush, you're not actually t roll twisting it round, are you? You're keeping it... The, the Depends on the situation. Mm. Um, sometimes I, I roll to overcome uh, this twisting, you know, just to... Um, so, yeah, it really depends on the situation with the brush. So I twist sides sometimes to get... To avoid mm. dryness. But I'm looking at these fin, at the tail fins. Mm. Oh, I just press with the shape of the brush. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right. So, um, not usually draw with the tip, but with the, the shape of the brush. <coughs> uh, okay. I just use a little tie. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, just Make it uh, pure red, red yes. goldfish, and uh, we can do another one. One more. One more. One more. It's, uh, what color? It has to be black and white. <laughs> yeah, black and white. Yeah. Well, they all seem to be going over here somewhere, yeah. and this fellow's come yeah. through here. Just keep it simple, you know, just black and white. Like uh, as if my ink is exhausted. So just mm. Yeah, it's Oh, that's beautiful. They're all very busy swimming. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, right down the title, it's called the line fish picture. Uh, it's a uh, like an odd wish come true, fish come true. Mm. Uh, it's a Chinese uh, play of words. Uh -huh. Line fish.
understand that you're not a conscious thing. Yes. So try to combine all the different uh, tones of the uh, ink. Just beautiful. Thank you. Just beautiful. Try to have an individual reality you know, different uh, colors and, mm. and uh, kind of Small, small signature brush. You can use uh, just if you like. You can use keep using this, but use only the the tip. Yep. Use some glues. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't have to be pure black. You know, just it's more artistic uh, with uh, some gray. Yeah. Copy one word, dash, and uh, two dots. Perfect. Yeah, don't, don't repeat. That's a signature. Perfect. <laughs> I like that. Very perfect. Very <laughs> good. I like that. Um, I've left my stamps at home. Yeah. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. <laughs> remember. Okay, we will do that later before we frame. I mean, mount. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Pam is going to seal another painting we did uh, yesterday with the goldfish. Beautiful. I like that. Yes. <coughs> Especially like the black and the red overlapping. It's a uh, rescue, but it works that so good. So yeah. We need to have some moisture, just like. Uh, you iron a shirt, you need a little moisture to make it easy, shrinkle, uh, make a uh, wrinkle free, wrinkle free. So um, I will spray some water, but avoid water on this uh, uh, pad. We use four layers of denim. So I just spray it outside. You can spray it on the carpet or on the floor. Uh, felt some area. I just do this. So make it even. And let it uh, relax a little bit. Uh, this is the silicone paper we just uh, cut into the size of the painting. And you can use this as a permanent backing if you wish. Uh, or you can transfer the mounted painting uh, onto a different, uh, uh, stiffer surface, like a uh, museum board or uh, drawing board. Did you like your top paper? Yeah, I need uh, the top paper. Thank you for reminding me.
got uh, some some uh, release paper that we uh, got from the past as a protecting sheets. Protecting paper. And uh, so you can, there's some uh, margin that has no fill, so we need to avoid that. Okay. This is the piece that uh, comes off from the previous work, you know, the, the release paper. I set the iron between silk and the wool. I can use uh, lower temperature starters, a little on the lower side of the dye to start with. Then I can increase the temperature as I uh, heat set it in the end. In the beginning, you can go slow. It's a lower temperature, but uh, when you get more experience, you can do that faster. Depends also on the size of the painting. If it's big, I think a higher temperature is preferred, otherwise it, the labor would double or triple. So I go from center out in all directions. And you can you can check to see if it's a uh, eco free almost. Right? And there are some problem like this, you know, you need to find and uh, fix before it is set. I see some wrinkles on the upper side. So this paper should be a little bigger. If the iron can go outside. This iron needs to be clean, obviously. Unfortunately, you know, we, we have this protecting paper so the dust won't come onto the painting. You can use the uh, have a tower to clean this iron. So there is some you know, problem you might encounter. It's a, it's a craft, not a science. Mm. Uh, you need to practice it. Uh, it's very smooth. Okay. There are some minor wrinkles that we can continue. You can spray some moisture if the wrinkle is uh, uh, big. That will help to get rid of wrinkles. You can spray more moisture during the in the middle. You know. I don't need that. I think I can do that. Now I can increase the temperature a little higher to make sure it's set. Just use the temperature to activate all the adhesive film. Okay. So the, the most important part is no, no moisture on the back. Yeah. Um, if you have, it will cause the backing paper to buckle. That's the yep. very common problem. It's some part not set yet. Because the temperature is not high enough to begin with, so I need to go through this, all the marginal areas. The margin need to be, you should go outside because the shape of the iron may not mm -hmm. touch all the corners. Mm -hmm. so you need to make a 
if you use a bigger like protection paper it would be better. Mm -hmm. I kept kind of keep uh, moving around to get all the margins done. I think it's uh, 90 percent, 95 percent. So not uh, too difficult. There's no waiting time. But that's the advantage of this, and it's very uh, permanent and stable. Mm. So this is, there's a little wrinkle there. I can spray some water to get rid of that mm -hmm. if you want to see. The effect that is there. A minor wrinkle. Mm -hmm. you care, if you care that, uh, let's try just to get it. Just yeah. a touch. Yeah, a touch. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. Does it go yeah. into the. It's going to go the, somewhere. The, if the wrinkle goes vertical, you, you iron horizontal. Uh -huh. Make sure it dries with other parts. The temperature, if it's too hot, it, it may also cause some kind of hot wrinkles like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the temperature must be just in the middle of a wall and a um, wall and silk. Wall and silk, that's what, 180, 80, uh, or 175 degrees. Fahrenheit. You do like it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you want to try another one? Mm. What 